watch her baby learning how to talk. She looks intently at her mom and forms her mouth and attempts to repeat the sound. And pretty soon, she is forming words like Dada, Mama, Baba, Money, Car, <laughs> Boyfriend. But sometimes, this process of learning how to speak seems to drag. The baby doesn't babble, just groans. She doesn't look in the direction of the startling sound. And lullabies don't seem to calm the baby down. <coughs> when parents notice such difficulties, they would take the baby to the doctor to see if the baby has a hearing problem. Oftentimes, a medical intervention like cochlear implants or hearing aids and with speech therapy can dramatically improve the child's ability to speak. This is what happens to the man in today's gospel. He was deaf and that deafness led to speech impediment. So as soon as Jesus opened the man's ears, the speech impediment vanished and the man was able to speak clearly. I've been deaf in my right ear for all, all my life. And that's because your mom always yells at me. <laughs> it's not easy to hear only on one side. And sometimes it can be very awkward and embarrassing. Not just to me, but also to the person who wants to talk to me. But I have learned how to live with it. So if you're on the right side and you want to tell me something, don't yell at me. Just tap me on the shoulder. But you know what? Being partially deaf can also be a blessing. You heard the saying that men have selective hearing, right? Well, for me, it's pretty legit. But for you guys out there, I don't know. I feel sorry for you guys. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, in all seriousness, what about our spiritual hearing? I mean, hearing. Is it selective too? Do our spiritual ears perk up only when situation is to our liking? Or do we have spiritual deafness when challenges or difficulty, difficulty comes our way? I'm talking about selective hearing or being impartial to the truth of the gospel. Example, sometimes we say it our whole life and we despise abortion. But do we use contraception and practice or practice energy? We believe in sanctity of marriage. But do we agree and believe that marriage is only between a man and a woman alone? How about when we say that we love God, but we cannot love that person whom we can never forgive? Sometimes, we can be selective only to the laws of God and to the teaching of the church that we only love. How can we fully proclaim the truth of the gospel if we are partially deaf or totally deaf to the truth? No wonder we too have a speech impediment. At one time or another, we are all deaf and we do not hear what is really important. We don't hear God's voice, but instead we hear all sorts of distracting voice that keeps us from obeying God. St. Mark tells us that he took him off by himself away from the crowd. To me, 